The brutal cold this morning as it uh, crosses across the nation. Two-thirds of the country now, now snow-covered or battling freezing temperatures this morning. CBS News national correspondent Dean Reynolds is in chilly Chicago. Morning, Dean. Good morning, Harry. Well, it is bitter cold out here, but at least in some parts of the country, the big dig-out has started. In Iowa, they were using the big equipment to remove nearly a foot and a half of fresh snow. This week's storm roared right down Interstate 80 through the center of the Hawkeye State, and with the onset of frigid temperatures Thursday, left the landscape frozen in white. In Detroit, workers were trying to restore power to the people. They ain't got no telephone, they ain't got no heat. It's just miserable. Miserable, too, in Door County, Wisconsin. Our only source of heat actually is a fireplace. Traffic accidents dotted highways nationwide and frosty sub-zero wind chills had people covering up. While all along the Great Lakes, a lingering deposit of lake effect snow added hardship. The Buffalo area could get three feet. In Arizona, officials located a number of hunters stranded near Flagstaff since Monday, and some of the wayward sportsmen were only too happy to be rescued. We were 12 or 13 below last night outside and about 25 inside our tent. And the bad news for them is that another storm could be brewing off the west coast, which could bring more rain and snow and repeat the cycle of winter storms in autumn.